video, Super Solo. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. So, these have been a long time coming. This is the uh, Diamond Select Gotham. I think this is where Series 1 um, of the Gotham. Also available is Penguin, which, which we've got as well. But I'm not doing him in this video. This is Before the Legend, and this is Selena Kyle, deluxe action figure with base, who actually connects with the Jim Gordon version. If you combine them together, you can complete the alleyway. So I thought, why not do these two together and give you guys a proper close personal look at both of these figures. Now these are both from the Diamond Select line, which I'm a big fan of. I think they're great products. Very good for collectors. So like I said, we have Jim Gordon and we have Selena Kyle. So let's go ahead and crack these open out of the packaging and let's build that alleyway. So let's start with Selena. I'm a little bit behind with Gotham. It was one of those programs I came into late, like most things. I never ever catch them with the first come round. So I'm a little bit late to the program. I'm currently on season four. Which I know is not a million miles behind, but. We're just starting a new season. With Raz Al Ghul, I believe, is now coming into it. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So this is all tied together, it would seem. Size. So I know a lot of Batman purists, if you want to call them that, are a fan of Gotham because of what it's done to the characters. I actually like it. I'm a huge Batman fan, but I've loved what they've done in Gotham. Like, especially with DC, because with DC there's so many different versions of the storylines and so many different universes and things like that in, the, in DC mythology, so... I don't I don't know why this couldn't just be one of those set alternate universes, you know what I mean? What are they? Okay, now she's got loads of rope ties attached to her. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to cut this camera because I've, got, I've realized I've got Jim Gordon to get out as well. This is going to take forever. So I'm going to cut away now, uh, unbox these, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, all the pieces are free. So let's build the alleyway. I need a photo for reference. Uh, yeah, we use that. It doesn't really help that much, but let's attach this first of all. So we have the wall. That way possible, isn't it? No. No, that's not it. <clears throat> Just gotta do it that way. Hmm. Interestingly, it doesn't wanna go together. Can't be them ones that don't fit. These look like they should fit. These might need a little bit of force to go in. Yeah, okay. So a bit of force is required to get these bad boys in. Ow. There we go. Jesus. Right, so moving on. That will slot onto there, like so. Make sure those pieces are aligned nicely. Yep. 
we have a little locking piece here, it looks like. Oh, is that we can hang it from a wall? That's interesting. Uh, so this will go on here. Slots there, it seems. <laughs> I know it's probably taking me far longer than it should, so I apologise in advance. I am not the master builder that some of you guys might be on these things. I don't get many diamond select figures, so it's not they're not something that I build regularly. The little ladders just kind of sit there, but as soon as you nudge them, they fall off. I don't know where these go. I'm going to double check on some instructions and I'll get back to you. Okay, that took longer than it should, <laughs> but I've done it. So I'm finally ready to talk about the figure. So let's look at the base first of all. What are they doing, Gordon? Oh, yeah, Gordon's behind. There he is. So this is the Gotham City Alleyway. Ugh. Bring it up to the camera. This is the Gotham City Alleyway that I wanted to build. That's why I'm doing both characters at once. So the, the bottom half, this part came... Uh, with the one back wall for Jim Gordon, and then the upper back wall and the the roof bit came with Selina Kyle. Um, I believe this is where she witnessed the Wayne's murders, Selina Kyle, when she was young. I think. Someone can, cor can correct me in the comments. Um, I'm liking all the little detailing. You'll get to see the details a little bit better when we go to the desk cam. Uh, but we're going to look at the figures as well, because they are actually really good. Better than some diamond selects I've had in the past. These are really highly articulated. So Selena Kyle, the head can lift down and side to side. There's a little bit of a spring action in there, so she looks up back on her own and stuff. The arms do lift up and do rotate with a single hinged elbow. You can get a few clicks out of that, which is good. And the hands rotate and they do rock back and forth as well to give them a variety of motion. There is a slight pivot there at the waist, but nothing really too crazy. The legs do lift up and there is a top, by, uh, top of a joint. Uh, rotation there at the top of the thigh, sorry, and a double hinged knee. So the double hinged knee is a very nice um, piece, especially for something like this. So you get some nice poses, especially because Selena Kyle's meant to be, you know, the Catwoman, and so we can get some really cool poses out of her on top of that, uh, on top of here. So I can't wait to play around with that and see what I can do with it. Now, because I own the Selena Kyle figure, there's a little bit of me that wants to go out there and go find the Bruce figure because I know there is one uh, to put with her. That would be awesome. I might collect more of these, I think they're really cool. I would like a Riddler. Because he's my favourite character so far in that program. So yeah, really cool figure. I'm liking it a lot. And then we've got Jim Gordon as well. Looking pretty cool. Actually looks like Jim Gordon, which is nice. The face sculpt is pretty good and accurate. There is a uh, wire around the gun, which I'm not going to mess with right now. Because I've had my fair share of doing things like that. And then the gun falls out. So I'm going to leave that one alone. Uh, articulation wise though, very same as Selena Kyle, double hinged knees, um, a slight pivot at the waist, upper thigh rotation and the feet do rock and pivot as well. So a lot of articulation in these figures to say that the diamond selects, normally diamond selects are meant to be more they're for adult collectors but they're mainly for display purposes so they don't normally have gra cracking rotation. Wow even the elbow rotates on this one so you can rotate the arm back and forth with the pistol. 
So that's a nice touch as well. Does Selena Kyle do that? Oh, Selena does that as well. Yeah, I missed that one. So the elbow is in and out as well. Nice. Okay, guys. So I'm going to get these guys posed up here on the, on the uh, Gotham City streets. Get them posed up for you. And then I will get the desk cam out and get you guys an up-close personal look at these figures. Okay, guys. And here we are at the desk cam. Pose them up onto this display. I think it looks pretty good. Once I've got some room over here, I'll be displaying them up there at some point. We're having another shelf put in as well along this wall. So hopefully I can display this as a permanent piece in the room. So I actually like it. I think it's really good. So yeah, big fan of this. I think this is really nice. I think they've got that face sculpt on Gordon perfectly. His articulation is a little bit weird because his legs, once, once you lift them out, they kind of stay in a John Wayne-like position. I'm not sure if that's just because the uh, the ball joint's new in there. I need to have a good play around with that to get it to uh, snap back into places. And I've had to make him look like he's in a launching running position now. Or like he's about to take off or limping away. Selena so Kyle up here. I've got to perch vicariously over the top, looking down over the alleyway. My camera likes to lose focus. All in all, though, guys, you can see all the different dirt and... Things going on here in the alleyway. I just put her carton of milk there for now. But she can have that in her hand. It's a nice, nice piece here. I really like it. It's really good. And I think they've done a cracking job with this Selena figure. It's my favourite of the two. Her more so. I like her because it's another one of the uh, you know the women of Gotham. I love the uh, female Gotham characters. You know that. I collect every single one of the uh, female char characters. From the DC Universe. So this is a nice one to have in the collection. But not just that. I just think her likeness is better than his. The camera really doesn't like him. I think he's too white. There's too much blonde and white going on there. My camera's having like a tizzy was. Trying to zoom into him. There we go. Yeah, I think her likeness is better. Wouldn't you agree? Okay guys, I'm going to take some photos. So you guys can see this um, on Instagram as well. So if you're not following me already on Instagram, go ahead and follow us over there as well. And you'll be able to see some awesome photos I'm about to take of this great collection. Which one's your favourite? Do, you like, do you like Gotham? Sorry. Do you like Gordon or Selena? Let me know in the comments. So guys, let me know your thoughts on this series in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button, guys. It would really support us, really help us out, and help us keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, may the Force be with you. Have an awesome day. Bye!